Hello guys and welcome to yet another NGB Let's Play video. Although this is not really a Let's Play video, more of a look at Gran Turismo 6 on the PS3 and specifically the menu system or the user interface if you want to call it that. Um, it was one of the biggest flaws of GT5 uh, which was also on the PS3 that the menu system was as clunky, um, as slow as anything really. Um, it was really difficult and really frustrating experience um, to get through um, the menu and then start a race. It was really, uh, it was more annoying than anything else. So this is one of the first things they've obviously looked at when, um, you know, producing GT6. Um, and the menus here are very clean, very crisp and very quick. As you'll notice me moving across here, you can use either the uh, D-pad, the analog stick, or you can use L1 and R1 to quickly move across from section to section. Um, so quickly, what I'll touch on first is that a few things are locked out. So that's many of the online stuff here, as you can see, uh, because there's a big day one patch coming, uh, which will open up the online section and allow you to play with the community, do lots of cool stuff, which is uh, one of the, I guess, major points of GT6 that you can play that you're never racing alone, which is kind of one of the taglines they're using. Um, so it's a big part of the game, which will be uh, opened up uh, on day one, pretty much, with a patch. Uh, a few other things locked out as well. The Goodwoods uh, Festival of Speed is a special event, and the photo travel, uh, where I'm guessing you'll, you'll be allowed to take some photos of your sexy vehicles. Um, so, yeah, let's just go back here. So you've got your garage access. you only got one car at the moment. As you'll see, it's one of the literally, I want to put like a few hours into it. Um, and this is one of the first cars you're allowed to buy. Um, but yeah, you'll see loads of information here. Uh, information? Information um, regarding uh, your, the cars you have. So you'll, you'll see loads of stats at the bottom there. Uh, performance, um, the, the PP rating, which is how good the car is essentially. Um, yeah, so if, if I had more cars, you'd probably see some more information, maybe. Um, so yeah, you'll see your car list. Um, yeah, that's all the kind of, that's all I've got at the moment. Um, yeah, and you have got your favourites here. So if you if you got more than you know one car, uh, unlike me, um, then you can probably choose your favourites and access them as quickly as needed. Uh, let's go back. So you can go for a free run here. Gallery view just lets you look your look at your car in a more sexy view. Um, there we go. And I think this is one of the premium cars, so it's got the interior designed as well, as opposed to the standard cars that are taken from previous GT games, but, you know, modeled nicely now this time, um, but we're not uh, a proper interior. But this is one of the premium ones, I think. Looks very sexy. If you're into your cars, very sexy stuff here. Oh, yeah. So let's go back. Um, you can look at your racing gear as well, which is... Uh, Basically, the the helmet and the tracksuit and stuff, you, your stig, as I'm calling it, will wear. Um, I've just got the standard stuff here, so uh, that's all you'll see. Um, yeah, so that's that option there. And you've got the gallery. If you're taking photos and stuff, then they'll all come in here. Uh, your, your current status. It will tell you pretty much everything you've done so far. Um, loads of stats here. As you can see, your favorite track, which is probably... Uh, the track you've driven on the most, favorite dealership, obviously Honda for me right now, that's all I've done. Uh, total driving time, not a lot for me so far. Uh, but yeah, a few stats and everything there, which is pretty cool. You've got the arcade mode here, which is offers uh, single player, single race, time trial, drift trial, uh, drift trial as well. Uh, sorry, it's late, I'm recording this, I'm a bit tired, but yeah, so if some, <laughs> so if some words go, uh, go away, then yeah. Please forgive me. Uh, single race. You've got all the tracks in the game here, which is, uh, I'm told, about 37 different locations, over about 100 or so different layouts for them. So this is the world track. These are actually the real life tracks. So you can see there's quite a few. Silverstone, um, Goodwood as well, which is, as you saw, Locked, Brands Hatch, um, Ascari, Daytona, all the real world tracks you can pretty much think of that are largely associated with like proper racing uh suzuka here as well uh spa you can't have a racing game without spa they've got that in there um so yeah different variations of each one as well nurburgring obviously um and then what, what they've got here is also variable weather you'll see like different information there at the bottom 
uh, as I'm highlighting this one, uh, it says variable weather. So the variable, uh, so the weather will change, and the sort of the day night cycle, especially if you're doing like a Le Mans race, will change over time. So pretty cool. Um, the original tracks. These are the tracks that have been created for Gran Turismo 6. Uh, again, you got some classic ones in there, like uh, you got uh, Autumn Ring Mini, Autumn Ring. Um, quite a few deep forest racers was an old favorite of mine. Trail Mountain as well, Grand Valley Speedway, High Speed Ring, the usual stuff, uh, and a few new ones as well. So pretty cool. Loads of loads of tracks, loads of tracks, and these are the uh, the city tracks. So you got London, Madrid, um, Rome, pretty much everything uh, that was in previous GT games, I think. And then you've got some snow dirt tracks as well, so you can rally around in the dirt and the snow. Um, only a few of them there, but still nice to have the option. So let's go back. Time trial, pretty much the same. You, you'll get to choose your track and then go in. So I won't look at that drift trial as well you've got there. And then you've got options for party play as well, um, which is pretty cool. Again, split screen essentially. And this is the, what forms the main crux of the game. So these are locked out at the moment because I just started novice. Um, just going, and the di main difference here is that you get star ratings for every event you complete. So if you get gold, as you see I have here, you'll get three stars, silver, two, bronze, one. Uh, and then depending on the star ratings you've got, you'll, as you see it says on the right hand side there, stars acquired 15 out of 24. Uh, I haven't even completed novice championship yet. Um, but uh, I was I was able to move on to the license test for the next um, next class of events, so National B. So let me just go into the license test and see what you'll have to do. I've got gold in the first one already. Hooray me! Um, so that was a uh, full acceleration braking, basic cornering here, high speed cornering, tackling an S bend, and negotiating an inner city track. So these are the types of uh, license tests you you can expect. Probably gets a lot harder as you go along move from move from class to class uh, but those are the ones you get um, after you kind of get the acquired uh, all the stars required to move on to the next class uh, interesting thing over here you get you get uh, one of the new features is coffee break challenge so a bit of light-hearted fun let me just go into this one I'm not gonna go into it proper um, but this one challenges you to knock over 300 cones as fast as possible and you get credits based on how well you do so again nice little um, quirky little challenges to break the more serious racing action up a little bit uh, pretty cool so yeah uh, once I complete the, no uh, the novice sorry the national B license test I'll have national B open up to me uh, then once I get the acquired stars national A and so on and so forth uh, you got the dealerships here and you've got an absolute ton of them so you're, they're broken down by obviously region. You've got Europe, loads of them here. Uh, then you've got Asia uh, Pacific, and then you've got North America. So yeah, loads and loads and loads. Uh, I did get a request. Someone wanted to see uh, the S two thousands in the game. So let me just quickly scroll across. There you go. These are the, all the S two thousands. So they're pretty much all the models. The 06, 99, 01 here, 03. Um, 2000 um, pretty much all this last couple of pages of the s2000 so let's look at one of the latest ones uh, so let's open up 06 here so let's see how it looks so this is what you'll see when you kind of trying to purchase a car um, you can select your color it takes a while to load up sometimes um, it is ps3 not ps4 um, choose a color it's pretty cool let's just choose yellow yellow is the s2000 color um, you've got the gallery view as you saw before, just giving you a more sexy look at the car. Look at that beautiful looking car. Um, let's go back and you get some car information here, like it gives you a little story behind the car almost. Um, which if you're really into your, your vehicles, your, your petrol head almost, uh, then you'll be pretty impressed with this sort of stuff. The usual Gran Turismo 6 detail. But just easier to access now with these new new menus all the information at the bottom there as well at pp uh, rating 420 which is decent uh, how much it costs uh, i can't afford it but i'm not going to buy it um yeah so that's a look at that 
And then what I, what I really liked was recommended cars. So if you're not really you know in the know in terms of you know the cars and stuff and how good they are, and you just want to say I'm going into National B, um, I don't know you know which car to buy straight away from all the dealerships you've got there. There's quite a few options. You can just go to recommended cars, choose National B, and these are the cars that are recommended for that particular class. So I'm going to buy one because I am going to go to National B soon anyway. So I'm going to buy this uh, Chevy here, uh, 2010 Chevy. I'm going to choose a color. As you can see, loads of options for colors here. Uh, Chevy looks nice in yellow. So let's choose yellow with a stripe. So let's choose that one. Gallery review. Just before we buy it, I just want to have a quick look at it, how it looks. Pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm going to purchase this. Let's blow some money on it. Yep, I want to buy it. And essentially what happens is the car is delivered to your garage. I'm going to be quiet here so you can maybe see the engine uh, revving. Or see, see, hear it revving. See, it's coming, it's coming. So a nice little engine revving sound there when you purchase it and choose to uh, have it as your active car. So I got a little, nice little trophy there as well, which I didn't quite see what it was, but hey, you will see it once the video is up. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty good look. And as you can see, recommended cars uh, by class as well, uh, racing category as well. So you can look at what are the recommended Le Mans cars. Look at these beasts. Look how expensive they are. Um, got the NASCARs here as well. Someone asked to see NASCARs when I asked on Twitter the other day. Um, so these are NASCAR options. All half a million credits consistent in their pricing. So plenty of options there for NASCARs. NASCARs cars? How do you? Uh, yeah, not even go there. Um, rally cars as well. Hot cars. I don't know how you define a hot car. But they've obviously got a category here, recommended hot cars, supercars as well. This is this one will be getting quite quite a good look at, I imagine, by most uh, petrol heads. Got the Diablo GT there, and classic cars as well. Some recommended classic cars. Now this one, the El Camino. Look at that. Um, yeah. So let's go back. And you've got the tuning stuff here as well. So all the options for tuning, custom parts. As I told you before, racing gear for your Stig, as I like to call him. Uh, you've got all the options here. Uh, and if you go for it, go into it for the first time, you'll get like a little tutorial just telling you what's what. And that's when you load up the game as well for the first time. You'll get a little tutorial just easing you into the mechanics if you're not really into racing. Um, and you want to get into Gran Turismo 6. So yeah, you've got that option there. And the same with the tuning as well. So if I go into that. Um, I'll get a little tutorial um, just telling me what's kind of what just, yeah, Easing you into everything which is pretty cool. I mean it, that wasn't the case with Grand Turismo 5 It was very very uh, clunky very clicky if you want to call it like that I, I, Like just assumed you were into racing games, which I guess you are if you are purchasing Grand Turismo But um, you know the the industry changed the markets changed people want to have things a bit more accessible you know so it's a, a bit more inviting and I, I think this now in terms of the ui is more inviting um so yeah that's just flashing new here because i got the chevrolet um so the car list now got two cars go me um so let's go back so yeah so this is what you see uh in the main menu and the user interface pretty uh pretty cool um and as you can see there in the top right hand corner you'll see the details of the car i mean credits and you can press start here and kind of access um certain parts of the menu very easily so if you want to save the user manual options and uh, you've got pretty much all the options in here controls sound display you can even set like if you want the opening movie to play when you load up the game cool stuff um i'm not really a huge petrol head so if you want to reset ratios and stuff and all that sort of thing really um and you're really into that then you can do that here um car selection as well just quickly if you want to choose your choose your car and you don't want to go into loads of menus just press start and that's it 
you're kind of there with a couple of button presses. Um, yeah, so hopefully that's giving you a good look at the menu uh, system, uh, the user interface in Gran Turismo 6. Again, one of the huge negatives of Gran Turismo 5 looks like they have listened and improved. Uh, we've got messages and DLC here as well. I guess that will open up when it's online. Um, but hopefully that's been informative to some degree. Uh, we do try here at Next Gen Gaming Blog, aka NGB. Um, so guys, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Um, got some more Grand Turismo 6 videos coming up soon. Uh, some races we'll show you as well. Some uh, other stuff I can, I, I can, well, I can show you. I'll try and show you. Uh, but stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, comment. Uh, and visit nextgengamingblog.com for all your news, previews, podcasts even. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.